Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my YouTube channel, uh, we do reviews for paying survey sites, for proxy sites, and also for we do legit crypto airdrop reviews. Also, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel up to now, can you hit the subscribe button? I'll be very, very much grateful. So today I want us to do another review of a proxy site called uh, IPHTML. Just discovered them the other day and put in a retro fund for testing out. So their services include the offer HTTP protocols and SOX5 pro, uh, proxies. And the, the IPs are from different locations, uh, specifically USA, Canada, France, Germany, UK, Netherlands, and many other locations. They also have proxy authentication, username and password. You can hold trist your, uh, your IP, or in the devices that you want to share to use the proxy on and so many other good 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 use cases so the pricing is as, is as listed here this is their proxying plan they have three plans here the residential proxy for country whereby you can, you can only be able to select the country and they provide you with a random city and isp also and it's only eight dollars per gb then they have residential proxy for city where you are only able to select the city and of course the country but they give you a random isp so for static residential proxy uh, you just select the country and you get a random uh, isp and and city then they have another plan my best plan about them this is the subscription the subscription plan this one now you see the others you have limited in selecting the country and city and all and all those stuff eh? here everything is combined together for subscription plan one they offer free geo targeting and they also offer high concurrency you can use them in multiple instances without any issue and the minimum plan is 50 dollars for you get 10 gb worth of traffic for a month then as the number of subscription uh, price increases the number of traffic per you get increases so this is the best plan if you can be able to afford the 50 dollar per month subscription plan is the best so you can see it goes up to subscription plan number number six so as usual the next thing you want to do after seeing a after seeing a proxy site is to register so this is the issue thing username password repeat password and whatever and the discount code if you have one and then you just log into your particular account so since i already have an account let me just log in direct so this is the dashboard once you log into your account you come to this dashboard it shows you your balance you are the amount of data you have used or traffic you have used in a day in seven, the last seven days and the last month then the first plan they offer is the dynamic proxy plan. I have already bought a plan here for, I use six dollars to buy one GB worth of traffic for testing out. And they are very, very cheap and affordable. So, under dynamic proxy, if you want to buy now a proxy for yourself, just come here and click add zone. So under add zone, you can add either a city or a, or a country. So for example, I added, I came here and added United States. United States. Then they provide you with their proxy password. Uh, then you can say, you want a special proxy for, oh, now I get it. After you put your country here, the country you want, down here, you can either select the special proxy for city or the special proxy for, for country. If you click for city, they're going to give you a random ISP random city in the united states the same way if you put united kingdom here they're going to give and you put select here residential proxy for city they're going to give you a city in the united kingdom united kingdom united kingdom and random isp in that particular country so you can be able to select the country i want us to use united states united states down here you can select the either country or city so but for cities the best then you can hold list your ip here 
So you just go to word.net, pick your IP and put it here. Let me do it quick. So this is my, my, my Kenyan IP. Just take the IP, paste it here. So the advantage of whitelisting, eh? you can be able to whitelist uh, the IP of the devices on which you are going to use this IP on or your friends in other country or wherever they are. You just click add and the IP will be whitelisted there. And you see this one cost around for the city, it costs around uh, $8 per GB. They have a discount, yeah? But for the country, let me see. Oh, for the country is a bit cheaper. That's why I picked the country because I didn't have I didn't have a lot of funds in my account. So that's why I picked the the city, which is around six dollar per GB. But for the city is a bit expensive. It's eight dollar per GB, but it's very very cheap. Eh? So once you did you finish everything, just click save here. So even if I click save, I don't have enough funds. Eh? Oh, I have enough funds. Oh sorry, I already have another one. So I don't have enough funds, but the, I only. Choose the one for country because my, my fans could only afford for this one. Eh? We are going to test this one at the end of this video. Then they have the, st the static residual proxy. The buying process is the same. At the top right corner here, just click buy proxy. Uh, select the country. They only support two countries, USA or Canada. Okay, click USA, whichever you want. Then choose the dedicated proxy or private proxy. Then uh, uh, input your password. Put your proxy number and you can see the charge on one proxy ip is around uh, one ip is around three dollars and the data is one dollar per gb so the total is around for buying one ip worth of one gb of data you're going to be only going to use three dollars hope that makes sense eh? it's very self-explanatory so once you are ready just click buy just click buy yeah, just click buy. I don't want to buy another one because I already have another one running. This one. You see? This one. So once you click buy uh, the, and you input the, the details which are on the previous script, you're going to get such as such a stuff here. Yeah. Which you can only use now to check there. You can use this IP, this port, uh, this username up to there. And this password the format is highlighted here how they are arranged you can connect it on your socks 5 app either on an undetected browser or on android then they have so dynamic proxies and static residual proxy offer residential ips but for this static ips here they offer you they give you very powerful uh, residential data centers these ones here and the same the format is the same just click buy you can see uh, for data centers, the residential data centers, it's a bit cheaper. The traffic is two dollar per GB. So if you're buying one, it's around uh, two dollar per GB. There's a discount, eh? So you're only going to get to charge one, 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 whatever, one, uh, one dollar. So you can choose any country here as you want. So these are data centers. Then. They have proxies for TikTok. There have, there have been high demand for TikTok dedicated proxy, so they made one for them. So if you are a TikTok user who uses multiple accounts on undetected browsers for TikTok, just come here, buy this proxy. It's purposely for the only one location, USA. So if you want to buy, if you if, let's say you have bought a lot of a TikTok dedicated proxy, you can just click here. And all your proxies are going to be listed. You are going to see all your proxies here. You are going to my TikTok proxy list. If you have, let's say you have bought a lot of them, you want to manage them, just click my TikTok proxy list will be here. If you want to buy them, just click buy. Uh, follow the setup here, which is quite easy. And it only costs five dollars per IP for the for static residual proxies for TikTok. You see? Like that. Now the last part is the interesting part. For to do all the above, to buy all the above plans, you need to top up your balance. So under top up, just click amount you want to top up here. 
the minimum is around i don't know i think minimum is around 100 dollars oh yeah uh, uh, according to the top up balance here the minimum is around uh, 100 dollars for this plan here this here you see but you can have a custom plan the minimum the minimum listed here uh, is around one dollar so for topping up the balance but you have the custom plan where you can top up even the minimum of 10 dollars depending with your need i use this option here for the minimum just click custom and you can be able even to top up around 10 dollars or less and they have support payment option using usdt trc20 or aripay or visa mastercard so that's how you top up now the gc plans for them is this one the subscription plan one two three and so forth and so forth so the, the, the reason why i say they are the best they cost five dollars per month uh because they they are going to sell you 10 gb at a rate of five dollars per gb they, you can run concurrent session you can share your ip with many people and use them simultaneously without any issue high concurrency free geo targeting free geo targeting you can be able to select the country city and isp and like the other four plans i showed you up earlier here that's why i require i say this one is is the best but you do not have enough funds to buy for the 50 dollar per month plan eh? so i only was able to buy only the dynamic one and static residential one but for that the purpose of this video I'm going to test using the dynamic proxies to show how it's connected on a on an anti-text browser. So for the enterprise plan, this for people who have heavy data usage. You see, even the amount is very very high. So without wasting time, uh, let's go to dynamic proxy, the one I bought earlier. This one, click edit. Where now you can see your details. Now and uh, here under the, the details of the of my ip here they provide a username a password a proxy ip or server the port for http the port for socks 5 note them very carefully yeah then remember i bought residential for country the uh, residential proxy for city are a bit expensive by two dollars so i want us to connect this one and test it out we are going to use a uh, gorogin eh, for testing so this is the profile here. Yeah? Let's click open uh, settings. So uh, to save time, I had already set up this particular profile using the details. So you can see the check well the IP, the port, the username, the password. They are the same as this one. You can see the port, the IP. Remember. When you're choosing the IP, uh, remember to choose, if you're using HTTP pro, uh, protocol, use this one. If you're using Source 5 protocol like me, use this one. Then remember to, to be careful when selecting these two. Because if you are connected to Source 5 protocol and you pick this one, the port for HTTP protocol it will not work. So make sure you choose the corresponding one. So I picked the port, the IP, the username, and password as detailed here on my residential on dynamic proxy dynamic means it's a rotating one so you can see they are the same ip port username and password i'm repeating again for insisting now before even connecting you check your proxy connection you see we are connected once you connected just click save and you can use that setup to connect to using Sox5 app on your mobile devices using anti-tech browser for example i'm using gorogin here for doing that and it's working perfect so once you done you do all that you just click run and you're good to go you can do your social media affiliate cpa marketing you can do your surveys and any other thing you want to do with ips from uh ap html and remember my best plans from these guys is this one. Is this one for fifty dollars, the one with concurrent session and limited high 
the one with the concurrent, concurrent sessions and limited, high concurrency and free geo targeting. The one you can be able to take, to take the country, city and ISP. But also the other the others are also doing well. Eh? So once you connect, the first thing we do you can check what.net. Sometimes what.net does not show the cannot show you the the ISP you want. Eh? So you can use other uh, sites to check. Also remember when the time zone is not 100 percent you can even change your device manually on your device eh? and it will be 100 percent I showed people on how to do it. Just go to your settings device set the time. So you can check more details of our IP and IP to location. Remember, I'm testing a dynamic proxy. Reason being, I do not have enough funds to buy the subscription, the subscription plan for $50 per month. So I was unable to afford this one. That's why I'm testing it here. So you see, you see, you see here, we are using AT&T. This is a real ISP in the USA, AT&T. And you can see our IP details. And everything here pretty nice so let's see whether you can see although dynamic boxes are not good on opinion edge let's see but it will open but the one the subscription plan is the best for opinion edge from ip html also and also another thing an ip cannot work on opinion edge you cannot be able to open an opinion edge account but it can it can do well in other service site so don't get limited if you see that an IP is not working on Opinion Edge. It can work on other service sites also. So, yeah, that's it. You see, this one is it cannot work on Opinion Edge for now, but it doesn't mean that it cannot work on other service sites. And Opinion Edge doesn't like dynamic proxies, they like static proxies or water. Huh? So, guys, that's my video today. It was about the new, not the new really. But this proxy site called uh, IPHTML, can you check them out? Uh, test them out. Give me your feedback under the comment section. I'm very curious to see how they behave on your side. So guys, feel free to reach out to me in case of any questions. I'm always ready to assist where I can. So thank you for watching. Keep it shocked to my next video.